Pikeville Medical Center recently secured a grant to provide the city's fire department with new defibrillators. Now each of their EMS units has a brand new defibrillator with updated functionality and vital monitoring technology. Mountaintop News spoke with Pikeville Medical Center Director of Emergency Services Dale Morton to get the details. Right at $100,000 that uh, the grant funded three defibrillators that were donated to Pikeville Fire Department that will help improve the care that they give the residents of our region when it comes to cardiac pre-hospital care. Uh, these defibrillators will allow them to have a more in-depth look at what's going on with their patient and if the patient is having a, uh, a heart attack or something and, or they're having to code it, that will give them information that they'll be able to transmit to us so that we'll have a better idea of what they're bringing into us and we can be set up quicker uh, and have a faster response to exactly what that patient needs once the ambulance arrives at our facility. Hey everyone, you're about to watch a video that's gonna get thousands of views. Very cool, but your ad needs to be right here. Give me a call. There are a couple of scenarios where a defibrillator could be the difference between life and death. Pikeville Fire Department can now better serve the community thanks to this generous donation. Oh, it's, it's great. Anytime there's some, something new, uh, Pikeville Medical Center is reaching out to us say, hey, have you looked at this piece of equipment? And whether we have or we haven't, they've already had it in the works to make sure that we're going to get the best equipment on our trays. You know, like I said, this is one of those opportunities working with Pikeville Medical Center that we actually can hone in our skills a little bit better and with this new technology. It pretty much reads everything for you. It takes a lot of guesswork out. It'll tell us what type of rhythm that they're in when we do an EKG on them. And if they're on the AED, and we have to place the pads on them. It tells us step by step what we need to do. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.